春节快乐 ！It's the Chinese New Year, the Year of Tiger. No flower fest, no spring festival at all. Wearing hanbu, wishing all of you a prosperous year of the tiger. 春节快乐 ，everybody! Right, it's the Chinese New Year. A warm wish is from, obviously, look at the snow here. Northern China. According to the Chinese zodiac, 2022 is the year of tiger, and people born in tiger years are said to be brave, competitive, and confident. Are you one of the tigers? All right. To prepare for the most important festival in China, we usually put up spring festival couplets, or Chunlian in Chinese. Of course, usually they're written in Chinese characters, but nowadays we also have the English version of the couplets as well. That's another story. Back to the couplets here. As we can see, a line of poetry goes on each side of the front door, and four characters top the frame. And they usually express delight in the festival and also wishes for a better life in the coming year. Less literary but more visual are the pictures of door gods or mansion in Chinese. They are, as the name suggests, to guard the door and ward off evil. Wait for a second. Did you hear the laughter? Something really happy is going on there. I'm just going to start to have a look. Inside I am, and uh, this is a very typical courtyard dwelling in northern China's countryside with the house in the middle and a well over there, a mill and some water vats and a table and some firewood over there and paper cards on the window. And it is snowing, making the courtyard even more beautiful. And of course, it's freezing cold as well. Although I was born in the northeast, but after living in Beijing for such a long time, I'm no longer cold proof. But the coldness, the snow, the wind are all unique features of the Chinese New Year in northern China. And the reason why it is also called a spring festival is because, um, let me cover Mr. Snowman's ears first, because here's something he doesn't really want to hear. The warm spring is coming. I didn't say anything. Easy. All right, you must be very curious about what people do on New Year's Eve. Families would get together for Tuan Yuan Fan, literally, reunion dinner. This is the most important meal of the year. Afterwards, families would stay up together to welcome the new year by chatting, by playing mahjong, by watching television, etc. And this year, Chinese people have one more reason to celebrate. The 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. And always remember, Beijing welcomes you. <laughs> <laughs>